Top 10 Easiest Countries to Immigrate to Immigration is the easiest process of moving to live permanently in a foreign country. Country in the world has the modus operandi for accepting immigrants to live in their home country. The process could range from paying certain fees, taking relevant tests, interviews, learning the native language of the country and so on. Every Some countries are known to have fewer and straightforward policies that make it easier for immigrants to live in their country, while others have very difficult policies that make it somewhat impossible for immigrants. So, which countries have the easiest immigration policies in comparison to others? In today's video, we delve into the top 10 easiest countries to immigrate to. This video is brought to you by After School Africa. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Consider subscribing to continue exploring opportunities. 1. Belize This is the only Central American country where the official native language is English. This amazing country has so many fabulous sites and scenery, like beaches and resorts. One of the many beautiful things about Belize is that it is sparsely populated and has easy immigration policies. Any Belizean consulate or embassy can issue a visa at the cost of 25 US dollars. In cases where there is not a resident Belizean consulate or embassy in your country, a visa can be obtained through the nearest British Embassy. An individual can apply for permanent residence after legally residing in Belize for a minimum of one year. The fee for residency ranges from 187.50 US dollars to 1,556.50 US dollars, depending on the nationality of the applicant. According to the Belize Nationality Act of 1981, to obtain Belizean citizenship, the applicant must possess a permanent residence certificate or have resided in Belize for five years. 2. Panama When you're considering a country with easy immigration policies, Panama is a great choice especially for individuals who already have American citizenship. Panama uses the US dollar for transactions within the country. You can get their long-term retiree visa as long as your monthly income is within the range of $1,000. For those within the younger age range, all you need to do is to deposit $5,000 in a Panamian bank account. This qualifies you for the initial process of applying for a friendly nation visa. The process of applying for Panamian citizenship is also quite easy. You need to have lived for 5 years as a resident. Keep in mind that Panama does not accept dual citizenship. As such, you will need to denounce your home country citizenship. 3. Svalbard Svalbard is a nation that is officially part of Norway. It is a collection islands located at the north of Norway. It comprises of individuals from countries like South Africa, Japan, Canada, and India. The location it occupies around the Arctic Circle makes it one of the most sparsely populated remote countries in the world. Its climate is also not too friendly. Sun does not rise in Svalbard for four months consecutively in both summer and winter. The borders of Svalbard are open to anyone who wishes to reside within the region as there is no need for any sort of visa or permit. The only issue there is that life is very expensive, and for you to be granted permission to live there, you will need to prove that you will be able to take care of yourself. 4. Brazil This is one of the largest countries in South America. It is a rich country with sweet cultural diversity. There are super amazing and breathtaking sites in Brazil, like the Amazon rainforest and golden beaches. The country is notable for its kind and hospitable treatments to foreigners. One of the quickest and easiest ways of obtaining residency in Brazil is marrying a Brazilian citizen, having at least one child with a Brazilian citizen, being a top-notch scientist or researcher with proof of your fixed monetary income, investing $126,000 into any Brazilian company fast-tracks your opportunity of getting a residency or citizenship. Ordinarily, to obtain a Brazilian citizenship, you must have lived there for 15 years. This can actually be reduced to 4 years if you have a job that pays well and have sufficient understanding of the Portuguese language. 5. Argentina This is another beautiful country in South America. It has a very large expanse of land with small population, with a population density of 15 people per kilometer square. The standard of living in Argentina is also high. It is a sweet country for immigrants. You need to show proof of a stable monthly income of about $850 to qualify to settle down there. The process of having a permanent residency or being a citizen requires some extra steps. You need to have lived there for at least two years to apply and complete the necessary paperwork. 6. Ecuador Ecuador is a beautiful and amazing country located right at the middle of the equator. It is one of the most romantic countries in South America. To qualify as an immigrant, you need to show proofs of your sustained monthly income of about $800 for yourself and another $100 for each dependent living with you. This is within the range of pensioner's visa. 
If you're not yet a pensioner, all you need to do is to invest or have a fixed deposit that generates constant cash flow to you. After obtaining your pensions visa, the next line of action is to get your residency permit. You qualify for obtaining citizenship after having lived for three years. 7. Uruguay This is one of the smallest countries in South America with a sparse population. It is known to have some of the best healthcare facilities in the entire South American region. One of the benefits of staying there is that it has low pollution from industries. As a matter of fact, it is generally referred to as one of the cleanest countries in South America. Obtaining a residency in Uruguay is relatively easy. First, you will need to declare your intentions to the government in writing, stating your intentions of wanting to reside in the country. You need to also provide proofs that you have a reliable and steady source of income, and also prove that you have a legitimate address in Uruguay. 8. Mexico Most people are scared of staying in Mexico because of the news and movies about shady drug deals. But the truth is that there are amazing places to stay in Mexico. The country is full of beautiful beaches and mountains. A great way to start your life in Mexico is with an FMM visa, which costs $21. The visa expires after 6 months and you have the liberty of renewing it over and over again without limits. The only drawback is that you cannot work with an FMM visa. If you wish to work, you will have to upgrade to a temporary residency. You may be forced to leave the country temporarily in order to apply. 9. Paraguay Residency in Paraguay is easy to achieve, largely because of the landlocked South American country is so obscure. Bordered by Argentina to the south and Brazil to the east, the history of Paraguay is bloody to say the least. But nowadays, the fully independent country can be enjoyed for its friendly people, open scenic vistas, and low cost of living. Because the demands of immigration is pretty low, it's easy to be accepted. You do have to deposit an amount of money into a Paraguayan bank that equals roughly 35 times the monthly minimum wage. That's just about $4,500 to $5,500 US dollars. After that, you will be allowed to move to and live in Paraguay. But you can't apply for citizenship until you've lived there for three years. The bureaucratic wheels in Paraguay turn extremely slow too. So, be prepared to wait for final approval. 10. Canada Canada is one of the friendliest countries to immigrate to. Canada is known to be a beachy region, having the longest coastline, over 202,000 kilometers. Canada is known to be one of the easiest countries to migrate to. The borders of the country are open to immigrants from war-affected countries. It is even much easier to migrate to the country if you have some sort of professional skills. It has express entry policies for potential residents. but. You will need to prove that you are worthy of being granted access. Having passed through all the necessary protocols, you will then make a payment of $390. In conclusion, immigration is not exactly easy, but it may not be as hard as you think with proper preparation and the spirit of adventure. And easy in this context is in comparison to most other countries. So, which of these countries do you find most interesting? Tell us in the comment section if you're yet to subscribe to After School Africa. Now is a good time to subscribe. Until next time, your success matters.